what's going on? It's day 18, day 3 of week 3. Yep. Finally getting rid of my crutches. Going to the store to take them back now. Would have done it earlier, but the store was closed on the weekends. Haven't been using them since the end of second week. Feels great to finally be able to take them back and never use them again. Hopefully. I'm also going to start pool therapy now, doing exercises in the pool in water. My incisions have healed nicely, so it's okay for me to go in the water now. So I have to make a monthly membership at a spa or someplace. But yeah, let's go get rid of the crutches and start a week of right. But none of these beats fill me I hit up the pal now I'm starting to get the feelings Of needing to shout loud My heart is the bullet's beating I'm hitting the clouds Wow, I'm high as my ceiling But I don't know where to go with the flow I'm hoping to open me No, I'm overflowing With thoughts in the moment Stuck in the zone where I'm feeling like I just might steal a bike Fucking just peel a vibe I don't know if it's real or lies This life that we live in down Trust me, I won't be surprised If we are trapped in the mind Of the power so divine He could just sneeze and we die Only if it could be a dream Only thing that it could mean Is that we all are the kings Is that we all are the kings Open your eyes and you'll see Grab till the mirror is please Give God the glory, repeat Only mission is to speak Until I'm rich and listen to my shit Inside the bins with friends that bitch And kids and wish a bitch that diss me then Send the text, they miss me then I'm fixing them A freaking blend of sick and pain And kicking them and shit They been like six, you can just look in And just snap and half like Batman's back All that is magic, mad on tracks How this paper out the facts Every gun you have to ask Is it a dream when I'm starting to scheme It's hard to believe it, I'm leaving you Kicking and screaming like spitting out demons From being a witness to me Listen to the beat with the heat That's so crispy you mean them It's getting those bands at the freaking degree You need to get up and leave it Then find you a key And I'll set up a seat so you listen to me after I finish the strength portion of my gym session, I go on to do the rehab exercises that my physio gave to me for week 3. During this third week, I do all these exercises every day, at least once a day, sometimes two times. If I'm not at the gym during the day, I just do these exercises at home. So let's go through them in more detail now. I start off the rehab portion of my workout doing 10 minutes on a stationary bike with moderate intensity just to get my legs and my knees warmed up. I'm happy that I finally have the range of motion to ride a bike. I tried a couple times during the first two weeks, but I just couldn't do it with the proper form. This week I've added quarter squats to my routine. I like to do these with a resistance band around my knees to make sure they don't cave in and I have correct form and positioning on every rep. I go down about 45 degrees for now. It's good to have a mirror in front of you or film yourself doing these exercises to make sure you avoid doing any major mistakes like having a hip hike or doing all the work with a healthy leg. From the squats I move on to standing abductor raises that I also do with band resistance. When doing these standing up I do about 50 reps but when laying down I do about 30. It's harder to do this exercise laying down. If it gets too easy you can move the band closer to the ankles to get more resistance. The third exercise in my current routine is wall sits. As you can see I use a resistance band for this exercise as well to work on the stabilizing muscles in my legs. For the wall sits I just get down to a quarter squat position and support myself against a wall or a pole or anything that's available while at all times trying to make sure my legs do the equal amount of work. I finish off my gym session doing some single leg balancing exercises. There are many different variations of this exercise that you can do. In the beginning when first starting out just stand on the injured leg and try not to fall. When it gets too easy and you can do 90 seconds comfortably you can add on elements like moving your non-injured foot in different directions, touching your hands with the foot or just anything that makes the exercise harder. Another variation is also closing your eyes while doing the exercise. That really makes it extra difficult. If you don't believe me, stand up right now on one leg with your eyes open, do that for about 10 seconds, then close your eyes and try to do that for about 10 seconds. You can see which one was harder. If that's all mastered then you can do stuff like calf raises with one foot or throw a ball against the wall and catch it while balancing yourself on one leg. I've also started hydrotherapy now, so when I'm finished at the gym I go straight to the pool. Right now to get comfortable I've just done some basic exercises, for example walking forwards and backwards. It's a great way to analyze and perfect your walking pattern, whether you have problems with it or not. On the water it's like you're in slow motion and it's more easier to imitate your healthy leg with your injured one. So if you have problems with your walking pattern, make sure to definitely get into the pool, it will help you tremendously. I also do about 10 minutes of jogging and skipping. When doing this exercise I like to imitate jogging on solid ground, putting my heel down first and pushing away with my toes. Another good exercise to do in the pool is sidestepping against the water pressure. When you have the injured leg in front, make sure to pull with it. When your injured leg is following, try to push your body with the injured leg. That helps you with your hip flexors, glutes and overall balancing. 
work on my range of motion. I do about 15 reps of pulling my knee to my chest and just letting my leg fall freely as far as it goes. During this stage of recovery, I don't want to put too much pressure on my leg and force the flexion too much. But if you feel comfortable and your physician has given you permission, you can also grab on your ankle with one hand and try to increase your range of motion. The hydrotherapy or pool work is a really fun addition for me because in there I feel like I really don't have any injury, I can jog around and jump and do anything that I like, so it's good for the mental side also. It helps me not to get caught up on the fact that I'm currently unable to run or jump outside of the pool. So I'm really enjoying it and it's doing good things to me physically and mentally. And I'm also having a lot of fun. If you have any kind of injury or your physiotherapist advises you to do some hydrotherapy, then I assure you it's really useful to do it. It helps a lot. Hi again, it's day 21, last day of week 3. Just got back home from a workout, went to the gym, did some pool movements. That was my third workout of the week again. Feeling really happy to be back to the gym consistently. Also did 3 sessions of hydrotherapy, or just playing around the pool for now. At the start of the week I was finally able to ride a bike for the first time. And now I'm already adding intensity and making my workouts harder. Right now I'm just using the bike to warm up for my exercises, but I think the next week I'll start riding the bike more. As a void training, I'll still continue training my upper body doing pull-ups, different back movements, shoulder movements, chest movements. Also because the gyms that I go to are not the best equipped, then I have to work around some things and for example I've done chest supported rows for my back because I can't do barbell rows yet. I don't feel comfortable putting that much weight on my leg. Wanted to give you guys a quick update about my flexion and extension as of this morning. It's coming along nicely and right now I have about 130 degrees flexion which is really good compared to the first week where I had 90. Although in the first video I told you that my doctor advised me not to go past 90 degrees in the first few weeks. He also told me that when I'm not forcing it it's okay to go past that. As for extension, when I put the pillow under my heel it eventually goes to the same level of extension as the healthy leg. But there's still a considerable amount of swelling so it takes a little time and it will get better as the swelling gets down. Another thing I wanted to talk about is my walking pattern. I showed you a clip in the last video where I was compensating a little bit with my right leg or my healthy leg but at the end of week three I feel like I'm not compensating anymore and I can walk freely. Climbing the stairs without crutches hasn't been a problem also although I feel comfortable walking and climbing the stairs it's still really really important to be careful not to slip or fall because in Estonia it's currently winter time and you can see the situation outside sometimes the roads and the walking paths are like ice rinks and you have to be really careful because in the first stages of recovery you can tear your ACL again pretty easily. Overall it's been another fun week I've been working on the videos, the first two weeks are out on my channel, adding intensity in the gym, getting rid of my crutches, and these three weeks have gone by so fast I can't even describe it. Really looking forward to the next week, talking to my physio again, getting new exercises, new goals. Hope that I don't sleep and fall outside, but I'm willing to take the challenge. Also, I'd like to thank every single one of you who has supported me on this journey and watched my videos and left feedback. It really means a lot and has helped me tremendously dealing with this injury. So that's it for week three. Hope the next three weeks also go by that quickly. But as always, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, like the video and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Peace and don't get injured.